I don't know how good this will show up for you guys, but let's see here. Oh, oh. This is, okay, we each pick one. This is, we can go see one movie this weekend, and that's our choices. So I'll Kids, let you think about it, and if, I'll think about it. If you don't know what this is, mm. there used to be these things called newspapers. Yeah. In the newspapers, the Could movie not. theater would take out a little advertisement oh. where they'd list the uh, theater and what was playing in the times. You notice on this one, it's a later one because it didn't have the times. Yeah, what is that? Uh but it used to be. It used to always mostly be one, three, five, seven, and nine. Oh yeah, man. So these are cool. I uh, love seeing these. This, these take me right back. So you got a weekend. Pick one movie. You, go, you only can see one on the big screen. One on the big screen. That's some good movies in there too, mm, man. It is. Oh, mm. only one. Hmm. I've seen a I lot know. of these on the big screen. I know. I would. I know there's one I wouldn't go see. <sighs> or a few, but. Hmm. Probably have to. It'd either hey, I have to go. I don't know if I'd go Jumanji or Toy Story. Oh, Jumanji. That's a good choice. Heat would have been a good choice. Heat is awesome. I did see. I've seen most of these on the big screen. Now, I think I would pick, believe it or not, Father of the Bride 2. Father of the Bride 2 was very good. I'll pick if it, it was but, Father of the Bride 1, yeah. I might have picked it. Well, I, I don't remember anything about it, so I figured if I can go see it, at least I remember I liked it, so. It was good. <laughs> Yeah, so that's why my pick to go see it again. I almost went with Heat. I would uh, say Heat was good, too. I would not see Cutthroat Island. I did see Cutthroat Island mm -hmm. on the big screen. Bad as I hear? It was, I didn't think it was horrible. Yeah, it wasn't great either, though. You wouldn't see Mr. Holland's Opus? No. Oh, starring Richard, Richard Dreyfus. Richard Dreyfus. I'm Richard Dreyfus! <laughs> he needs a good big movie again. He's still, yeah, he's, so I think he pops up he in like interviews and stuff every now and then. I'm like, what are you doing, yeah. Richard? You're just enjoying life. <laughs> uh, or pop, I'll look um, like look it up, and it'll be like some movie I never heard of. Getting fatter and balder. Uh, he I needs to be to like talk. a dad in a Marvel movie or something. That'd be great. The sun don't go out there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to pick one movie from this year, which looks, oh, looks about eighty three. Nerds, probably eighty four. <laughs> eighty four was Terminator and Revenge of the Nerds. Mm, all of me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, all of me. That was yeah, such I did. a good I movie. I saw that the other night. I that was that a one all good movie. Here. Man. Oh, that's this is a hard pick. Look at all this. You can even you can get a Terry Gar film. I know. I'd probably have to go Man, what happened to Terry Gar? Seriously. I'd probably have to go Terminator, but I think I'm with you. I think I would just because I don't think I ever seen on the big screen. Man, ter man, all of me and Bachelor Party were enjoyable too though. Yeah, but for big screen event, screen I say I'll go with Terminator. Hmm. Oh man. Body double sees some Nikki Kathleen Turner. Ooh, seven oh five and 905. Can Craig Watson from Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Craig Watson. Oh. You know, I, don't, I don't expect you to know who he is. I was thinking about it. The, the guy from Roxanne is in it. In what? Oh, Terminator. Oh, uh, Rick Rossovich. Ah, you know his name. The guy that was not Steve Martin? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. Because he was in Top Gun. <laughs> Rick Rossovich. That was Val Kimmer. All of me. I love me some all of me. Okay. Is this Bill Murray doing a the serious movie? Razor's Edge. That was a serious Bill Murray movie. <laughs> yes, that was but now out. he does serious, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, I don't know where Firstborn is. I think that's the one I hadn't heard of. You don't want to see Kathleen Turner turn her naked now. That's for sure. Mm, well, probably not. She's too good of a good girl to do that. Okay, we'll come back to that. Okay. Yeah, we did that one. What would you see out of this year? You got Bailey Hills Cop, Ooh, The Flamingo sure. Kid, Brigand 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah. Protocol. Noki Nose, uh, Johnny Dangerously, Dangerously or, uh, 2010, and The Cotton Club. I do love me some Johnny Dangerously. <laughs> that is a good Michael one. Keaton. Oh, man, when I was a kid, I could, the kid in me would have been to see uh, Breaking 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> probably yeah, off of that I'm list, I'd probably man. choose Beverly Hills Cop. I think I'm with you, too. Beverly Hills Cop. In fact, when they opened the theater here in town, they showed like a bunch of old movies, yeah. and I chose to go see Beverly Hills Cop over some pretty notable blockbusters. Uh, I haven't seen this. Since. I haven't seen that movie for years. So I they're going to bring it out on Netflix when they come out with Beverly Hills Cop 4. Oh, are they ever going to do that? Yeah, they were going to do a TV show one time, wasn't they? I don't know. They're doing a movie. Uh, is it, oh, let me guess. He's like the... He's hardly in it, but he's got some, his daughter or no, some girl, the new Bailey Cobb. No, I think it's supposed to be. He comes every now and then and says something wise. He's going to be using his uncle. Yeah, they'll start, Eddie Murphy's back, and then you go see him. <laughs> you see him for about two minutes. The beginning and the end. He gets shot in the beginning, and then you'll see him again in the end. He's getting back. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody, Axel's going to make it. <laughs> Is Danny Glover alive? Yes. 
Oh, yeah. We he's fixing to do yeah, the Mandalorian. He's the Mandalorian. No, he's not. Oh, he's in the new season, you mean? No. The one that ain't come out yet. No. Danny Glover's not in the Mandalorian. That's oh, yeah. Like they, they all look alike to you. <laughs> Again, you're not making yourself. <laughs> Sorry. If we do have... And I, I thought about... This I'm not a, going names. This is a total aside here, but I did think, do we have any people of the African-American descent that watch us? Because what? I think it's got to be our goal to get at least a couple. I'm sure we and got I some. We, we I know I got to run some. nobody off. I, I got mean, Tim. I, I don't know Tim's on the chat. And there's I mean. probably not in the demographic. I mean, it's probably harder, but I don't want to offend anybody because you think everybody looks alike. You think Danny, Danny I didn't Glover say they is, look alike. is Billy D. Williams, is Carl Weathers. I'm like, uh, I tell you, Denzel Washington was good in Action Jackson. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. <laughs> Fine job he did. Uh, okay. Let's see next. Okay, this one I can't hardly see. Coal Miner's Daughter exclusive. Up the Academy. You, are, oh, I, you know what? Urban Cowboy. Mm-hmm. Bronco Billy. Bronco Billy! And... The Empire Strikes Back. You know, up until I saw Empire at the very bottom, I <laughs> no. was all I was going 100 percent Urban Cowboy. You know, but oh, that would be a good one. I would not see Up the Academy. No. Anyway, you know? I believe that's Albert E. Newman. Was that a Mad Movie? Yeah, yeah. And you know that's bad when they advertise it. He's not even part of the movie. They're just trying to get that mad name. Oh. Yeah, I have to see Empire. Of course, Empire. But God, Bronco Billy was a good movie. When <laughs> well, I, was a I have kid. not seen that in other years. I, don't no, know. I loved it when I was a kid. When they had that blonde-headed one he's married to, Sandra Locke. <laughs> yeah, they got divorced and they're sorry again. Yeah. I just remember you uh, threw knives at the woman on the wheel. And no, yeah, and God, yeah, like, yeah, that. girl. Oh, <laughs> but that was a good uh, movie. I seen that in years. That and uh, what was the what was the other one around that time? Um, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. God. It's the one that he was in with his son. Honky Tonk Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Honky Tonk Man. Yeah. <laughs> he was the singer. Yeah. Uh, he had tuberculosis. It was and very sad. Very sad. <laughs> and uh, Coal Miner's Daughters, good movie. Mm-hmm. Tom Lee Jones plays. Well, he don't play. Right? With the exception of Up the Academy, that's a pretty good line of yeah. the theater there. Yeah. And I had, I bet Up uh, uh, the Academy's got that fat guy that looks like Belushi, but it's not. Oh, <laughs> that was, yeah. That yeah. Like, that Stephen was, First. You know her name. He was in. Uh, he was. He was in. Um. He was in Animal House. Animal but, House, but, yeah. but more importantly, he was in Midnight Madness. Oh yes, which is. I love. <laughs> yeah, I always seems you can't afford Pelucci to get that guy. Also starring Lori Loughlin and. I uh, love that. No, movie. I don't think it was Lori Loughlin. It was somebody else from that time. No, um, David Naughton and the young Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox is all good. Yeah, American Werewolf guy and, and that nerd guy was in. It, I think he's in everything. Yeah, that was now War Games. Now he's. Oh wait, no, that's not the same. Oh. Nothing. You know, he's in War Games and he's in. I mean, like, man, he's got curly hair. He's yeah. like the nerd guy. Maybe, I, maybe he was in War Games and I just forgot. He is. He looks the exact same, man, but he's getting a Not lot of trouble right. with the law lately. Oh, he's, he's being perv. I think he's like crazy pervy. Kind <laughs> of. Gee, that's not good. I did think I heard him get in a fight or something not too long ago. Uh, so we got him, man. Oh, man. I don't think I'm in that man, does now. I love him. And I don't know if that movie ever came out of the theater or if it was just a TV movie. It was like, I think it was a TV movie. If it did, it didn't. I didn't see it. I saw it on HBO. And I said, this is awesome. Andrew S. said he was in second grade in 85 or 86. I don't know what the hell grade. I was in 85. I couldn't do the math. I don't know. Yeah, I see here, but it took me a minute. I was probably in fifth or sixth. I was in higher than yeah, I was in higher than second because I graduated in 93. Hey, we got a boring ad. Oh! We got GFK, The Prince of Tides. Grand Canyon, Fried Green Tomatoes. Film just up the road. Yeah, the Hand That Rocks the Cradle, Juice, Shining Through, Free Jack, Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, we got a lot. Follow the Bride and Hook. I saw a great majority of those movies at the theater, too. Ooh, I've seen a few of them. I know which one you pick. Yeah, probably so. See if you can guess which one I pick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to go with Juice. No. Hey. <laughs> I mean, uh, wouldn't be Free Jack. Mm-hmm. I did see Free Jack at the movies, though. Yeah. Ooh, that was not good. I, did, I didn't want it to be Fried Green Tomato. How can, I, I, I was like, I was like, Mick Jagger and Emilio Estevez, how can, how can it be bad? You know, but it was. <sighs> no. Fried Green Tomatoes was a very good movie, and you need to respect it just because it was filmed ten minutes up the road. Never seen it. Now I wouldn't go. It's to good. <laughs> Kathy Bates and Jessica Tandy. I believe you. I believe you. Just never really. 
son. Is that what you picked? No. Oh, God. He's not. Oh. Hook. Please don't say Hook. No. Father of the Bride? Yes. I didn't think you'd pick that over. And yeah, I'll pick JFK. Everybody knows that. No, but I've seen, like I said, I've seen most of those at the movies only. I enjoyed Hook at the movies. It was shining was through at the time. That was a movie with Michael Douglas and Melanie Griffiths. It was like she was, and it took place only during the World War II era, I think. Mm, I think Bette Miller than Prince of Ties. No, that was uh, Barbara Streisand. Dang, Ming Nolte. You're right. I get into mixed though. You are right about that. Let's see. Oh, what the hell? Grand King. You remember what Grand Canyon was? Yeah, that was uh, my uh, what's his name. Kevin Klein in it? Yes. Yeah. It was an ensemble cast. Yeah. Steve Martin was in it. He yeah, was a, Steve Austin. He was a Hollywood movie. producer. He had a beard. And this is the dude in a like, carjacking or something and shot him in the leg. Mm -hmm. And the thing I remember most about it is he shot in his leg, but he pissed himself so his pants were all yellow because he was wearing white pants. Oh. So I remember seeing <laughs> the theater like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it was pissed himself. Oh, man, that was that funny. Boy. Beard of Steve Martin freaking out. Double man <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs> 